Okay, so uh, I bought new LEDs. They were 30 bucks off of eBay, um, and or $25, and they took about a week to get to me. And these are them there. So now we have to remove the old ones. Uh, there is no attachment hardware with this, so we have to save these little white nubs. And what they are are just those little plastic prongs that have the two little, you know, tabs on and push them in. And those tabs expand. So okay, so very simply. Pair of pliers. Squeeze in the tabs. and they'll come right off. So I'm gonna do the rest of them and we'll come right back. Okay, so they simply sit in place. They're coming to two strips and they plug into each other and you know, it's kind of idiot proof. You can't really mess it up. And so you just plug them in place. Right there till they click. And they'll line up with this, these holes that had the pins in them. If you look on your strips, there'll be a hole with an arrow. Those line up with the holes, and the other one lines up with an alignment pin. And then you just take your little guys here. and push them in place to hold them. So I'm gonna do that with all those and then plug in your end connectors. Next thing is the light reflector. It sits in place and is held in by these little spike guys which basically just clip in and turn. Next to the diffuser panels, in my case I only had two, so I was able to easily keep them together. If you have a bunch of them, you can tape them together before you take them off. That way there, you know where they went in orientation. And now, all around the edge are these plastic borders, and they clip back into place. They actually clip on, let me try to remember, this direction here, just like so, and that is what supports the LCD. So let me finagle these guys back on and get them all clipped in around all the edges. Okay, so I have all these black border pieces on. Now it's time to get the LCD in there, hopefully without breaking it. Hopefully I didn't destroy it getting it off. I don't think I did, but... Let's see if we can sit that sucker on there. Alrighty. Luckily this is small enough to be able to handle relatively easily. And it just sits inside that plastic frame on a little rubber bumper. And then that's it. These little tabs with tape fold down and they kind of hold it in place and then these little boards get captured in a little slot on the side so they go at an angle slide up and then slide down angle slide up slide down 
and then the main bezel should fit on, which is this. So, I'm just trying to remember exactly what this connected to. Pretty sure she just snaps into place. Actually, yeah, it definitely just snaps into place. It's just a matter of getting it around the corners. And there we go, LCD is retained. Now, I should be able to flip this sucker around and these little ribbon cables go right into this board here. And then this plugs into the uh, selector switch here. And this gets mounted, I think, right around here. Actually, slides into a slot right there. Okay, so that's that. And these boards, this guy's here. Fold up that flap, sit them in place, and click them in. Same over here, and click it in. So now I'm pretty sure that these standoffs on the back will allow me to plug this in while this is still raised up. So why don't we go ahead and do that and see if everything works. Yeah, that's about as good as we're going to be able to get. Anyway, you'll get the idea. Let's we'll see if it works. Turn her on. Nice bright logo. Cool. All right, so we're going to go to menu and let's see, uh, picture. So backlight set at one and before I could not get it past. What would happen is once I went past three, it would basically go that dark. So now I can jack that sucker up to all the way. So we'll just pick a video with bright colors here. And there we go. We have a TV back in working order. We have no smudges on the inside of the screen that I can see. And we also have no... The backlight looks diffused, so I have those two backlight uh, diffuser panels in correctly. So I got a working TV back for 25 bucks and... An hour and a half of your time or so. Not too, too bad. I mean, I, again, this is eight years old. When I did buy it, it's not... It's a high-definition TV, Samsung. Um, it's actually a 3D TV when those were around. And it's about eight years old. But still perfectly fine for 
something like a bedroom or what I'll probably do is put this one in my bedroom and take my smaller one that is in my bedroom and put it down here in the shop so not a bad fix for not much money so thank you guys for watching this video and we will see you on the next one I have some projects lined up maybe we'll make a quick uh, video in the middle of the week just showing you some other projects I took into the shop kitties